um, banished, if you will, from live reporting in the city of Los Angeles because you wanted to simply tell the truth on multiple stories over a period of time. Fill us in. I mean, look, Dan, I've been in the industry for 18 years, so no one can discredit that. I am a professional. I've been doing this for close to two decades, okay? It wasn't until, I would say, after I became a mother that these certain issues started to really hone in and really upset me. And I think then that's when we started seeing different events take place in our society, like the BLM riots, like COVID, like the mandate of vaccinations, like the masking our children for months and years. And that's when I started to just question and be true to who I am and real. This is not, this should not be politicized. This is not, this does not matter where I stand politically. It's about speaking the truth. Our jobs as journalists are to not sway a person to vote differently. It's to provide information. It's to provide both sides. And I saw firsthand we were not doing that years, years leading up to where I am right now. Yeah. And that's when I started speaking out. That's when I started questioning the, the agenda and narrative. And that's when I started getting pushed back. Exactly. When you, I hate the word woke, when you were awake, when you started seeing, and the same thing happened to me. I mean, I saw it for years, didn't speak up. Then I started speaking up. I started getting pushed back in the newsrooms I worked at. I started getting yelled at by fellow anchors and by news directors. And then obviously I walked away, ran for Congress, got my butt kicked, and it all worked out because we're on a new mission here at One American News to spread truth. Um, these stories that you got into it with CBS Los Angeles, like you said, this was you wanting to cover the efficacy of the vaccine, you wanting to cover both sides of the violent protests and not make them look like they were mostly peaceful like CNN would do. Like you wanted to show studies that proved the masks weren't working on our kids and were harming them mentally and physically. That's what you wanted to show, both sides of the story, and you weren't allowed to by your bosses. Is that correct? Correct. And let me just give you an example. While reporting in Long Beach, when it looked like I was in a war zone and I was on live TV, right. I said, this looks like a third world country. It did. And I got into so much trouble because I said, this looks like a third world country where we are right now. What? Just for that Correct. simple phrasing? Just for that simple truth oh. of the reality of what was in my surroundings.